or so we're told. For many fundamentalists, the belief that God created the heavens and the earth is central to their faith. They feel compelled by the vast wonders of the universe, the complexity of life and humanity, and the simple fact that all of this exists to believe in a supernatural God, specifically the God of the Bible. But there are many facts about the creation accounts in the Bible that most fundamentalists are unaware of. First, many do not know that the Bible actually contains multiple creation narratives. For instance, biblical literalists do not accept that the book of Genesis has not one, but two accounts of the creation. The best scholarship indicates that these accounts were written at different times by different authors and were placed together later by redactors to form a continuous narrative. One school of thought, known as the Documentary Hypothesis, proposes that the first five books of the Bible, also known as the Pentateuch or the Torah, were composed by at least four different authors over a period of about four to five hundred years. By comparing the style and content of the language of the text, as well as the different names used for God, and the sometimes conspicuous duplication of stories within the text, scholars have come to the conclusion that the Pentateuch was primarily written by four separate authors. This conclusion is based on strong internal evidence found within the scriptures themselves and is supported by the majority of biblical scholars. According to the documentary hypothesis, the authors of the Pentateuch are referred to as J, or the Yahwist source, writing around 950 BCE, the E, or the Elohist source, writing around 850 BCE, the D, or Deuteronomist source, writing around 600 BCE, and the P, or priestly source, writing in the neighborhood of 500 BCE. These four sources are thought to have been combined later by redactors. One model has a redactor combining sources J and E into one document, JE, which was later combined with source D by another redactor to form JED. Finally, JED was later combined with source P to create the Pentateuch in its finished form around 450 BCE. As it applies to Genesis, the documentary hypothesis places the authorship of Genesis 1, around 500 BCE, written by source P, with Genesis 2 being written by source J hundreds of years earlier, around 950 BCE. The two accounts are joined together by a literary bridge found in Genesis 2-4, which is thought to have been added by a redactor. It is important to note that the documentary hypothesis is not the end-all be-all of biblical scholarship. Many other theories of authorship have been proposed, including the supplementary and fragmentary models. The supplementary meaning that the Pentateuch was originally one book which was later supplemented through a process of additions and deletion, and the fragmentary meaning that the Pentateuch was initially composed of many works, the fragments of which were later combined to form the final whole. There has been much debate over the time frames when each source is said to have been written, and some scholars are skeptical as to whether some of the sources proposed by the documentary hypothesis actually existed. Part of the reason for the controversy is that scholars have virtually no early documents to compare with our later manuscripts to gain insight as to how the first books of the Bible were composed. The earliest known document is a small fragment which dates to around 600 BCE, which contains what appears to be a small portion of the Torah, a variant form of Numbers 6, 24 through 27. Scholars have no complete manuscripts to study that date earlier than the 2nd century BCE, and many manuscripts are dated much later than that. Some manuscripts, such as the Masoretic texts, which are the authoritative Hebrew texts of the Bible and are the documents from which Protestant Bibles are translated, date to the 10th century CE, some 1500 years after the original texts are thought to have been compiled into one source. This absence of earlier manuscripts makes it virtually impossible for biblical scholars to pin down exactly how the Bible came to be written. 